cancer clinical presentation investigation and management will be discussed today common presenting clinical features of patient with vulvar cancer include a lump wart like bump or an open sore on the vulva bleeding in the genital area that isn't from menstruation itching of the skin of the vulva that doesn't go away pain and tenderness that affects the vulva skin changes such as changes in the color of the skin of the vulva or thickening of the skin now we will discuss a case scenario of the vulvar cancer 65 years old lady menopausal for 15 years presented with vulvar itching on examination there was an ill defined lesion present on the left labia majora first of all take detailed history from the patient the demographic profile include name age the marital status duration of the marriage education occupation parity last menstrual period or the menopausal status ask details about itching like its onset duration whether it is continuous or episodic whether it is localized or generalized and whether it is associated with other problems like soreness burning sensations lumps or pain now think about the differential diagnosis in the patient presented with vulvar itching ask about lumps which may be present in carcinoma vulva or in case of warts history of weight loss or loss of appetite may indicate the carcinoma vulva or tuberculosis of the vulva in case of the carcinoma of the vulva there might be feeling of the lump any uh, in any other part of the body especially in the groin areas the vaginal discharge or lower abdominal pain may or may not be present in case of the carcinoma vulva chronic cough and night sweats indicate the tuberculosis that might involve the vulva ask about any skin problem before for lichen sclerosis and about the oral ulcer which may indicate the lichen planus ask from the patient whether she has noticed red and white patches on the vulva that may indicate the pigs disease of the vulva any soft and usual swelling increase the possibility of vulvar lipoma presence of itching all over the body indicate the possibility of dermatitis eczema or scabies vaginal discharge may be present in case of the uh, vulval cancer pigs disease of the vulva and if it is curdy white vaginal discharge that indicate the possibility of vulvo vaginal candidiasis some patients complain of fear of the coital activity or dyspareunia that indicate the vulvodynia some present with burning tingling or soreness that is not only present in the vulval cancer but also in case of the vulval intraepithelial neoplasia in such patient assess the risk factors for vulval cancer and the risk factors include increasing age the smoking inflammatory conditions affecting the vulva pre-existing cervical cancer due to hpv predisposition pre-cancerous condition like vulval intraepithelial neoplasia pre-existing vulvar disorders like lichen planus lichen sclerosis and the personal or family history of melanoma or carcinoma in the detailed history never forget the general questions like obstetric history any antenatal intrapartum or postnatal complications the gynecological history including the history of the cervical screening the contraception and any history of abnormal vaginal bleeding then take the medical and surgical history the personal history of the smoking the drug abuse personal history of the cancer the family history of any cancer ask about drug history and any allergy to any sort of medication in the end never forget to ask what investigations have been done so far what management has been done so far has she got steroids or immunomodulators or not after detailed history next comes the examination of the patient with vulvar itching do general physical examination including vitals and we will check for the oral ulcer which increase the possibility of lichen planus then comes the systemic examination including the breast and the chest examination the per abdominal examination the local examination and if any lesion is present look for its size color and extent a lump sore swelling or wart like growth on the vulva indicate 
the carcinoma vulva. Remember, we have done the lymph node examination while doing the general physical examination. A mobile soft non-tender mass is typical of lipoma. If there are patches of red and white scaly skin on the vulva, similar in appearance to eczema that indicate the Pickett's disease of the vulva. The polygon-shaped, itchy, violaceous, flat-topped papule indicate lichen planus. If there are fissuring, erosion, figure of eight lesions, pale or whitish lesion present on the vulva that indicate the possibility of lichen sclerosis. The papillar growths with irregular surface or contour indicate the possibility of warts. After local examination, we do per speculum examination to check the health of vagina and cervix and look for any sort of the discharge. If discharge is not present, then we do pap smear. If discharge is present, then we do atrius. In the end, we do per rectal examination as well. Now, if on examination, if we find any suspicious vulva lesion, that should be biopsied to exclude the invasion. And the reference of this statement is from FIGO Updates 2021, Cancer of the Vulva. The type of biopsy is either incisional biopsy or the punch biopsy. The biopsy should be skin deep with at least 2 mm depth and 5 mm clear margin. In the investigation, first we do the baseline investigation and then we check the histopathology report of the biopsy specimen which we have sent. For example, in this case, on histopathology report, there, a, there are pleomorphic squamous epithelial cells arising from epidermis and extending into dermis indicating the squamous cell carcinoma. Our next step would be to do the abdominal pelvic ultrasound scan for the extent of the tumor lymph nodes involvement. MRI is done to detect the local invasion to adjacent structures. CD scan with contrast to detect the distant metastasis. PET scans are often combined with CD scans to produce even more detailed images including the lymph node involvement. In resource limited areas, the CT with contrast will help us a lot in detecting the stage of the vulvar cancer. Once the diagnosis of vulvar cancer is Confirm the first step in management is to debrief the patient regarding diagnosis, its implication, and the management plan. Involve multidisciplinary team in the management of this patient, including gynecological oncologist, anesthetist, and surgeon. The specific management of vulvar cancer depend on the stage of the vulvar cancer, the age of the patient, the fertility intention, and associated comorbidities. All management options should be discussed in detail with the patient. Now here I have explained all the management options depending upon the stage of the vulvar cancer. Stage 1a is managed by white local excision, stage uh, 1b by radical vulvectomy plus minus sentinel lymph node procedure, stage 2 by radiotherapy with or without concurrent chemotherapy followed by radical vulvectomy, stage 3 by radical vulvectomy plus inguinofemoral lymphadenectomy plus adjunct radiotherapy to groin and pelvis. In stage 4, the biopsy is then followed by primary radiation with or without chemotherapy. After appropriate stage-wise management, we call the patient for follow-up. Women with gynecological malignancies are seen every 3 to 6 months for the first 2 years and then every 6 to 12 months until they are 5 years post-treatment. So thank you so much. That was all about vulvar cancer, clinical presentation, investigation and management in a form of clinical scenario. Subscribe on Obstant Gynae. Allah Hafiz.